How's it going, everybody? Today I thought I'd get another u bear game out for you guys. Uh, we're going to use a different skin. This one. And the reason I want to play Ymir again is because yesterday I tried recording a bunch of games and matchmaking kept putting me against uh, low-level players or, like, I would just do something really stupid and none of the games were what I felt good enough for YouTube. And I was like, you know what? When that happens, let's just get a, let's just get a, a Ymir game, you know? Everybody, everybody loves Ymir. Uh, it seems like those are the ones that are the most popular on the channel. Plus, I mean, uh, in reality, it's like I only have three Ymir videos recently, and you can learn a lot. Uh, we're going to go high, auto attack hybrid this game. I have two main starts I like on Ymir, which is Gilded Arrow into Demonic or Gilded Arrow into Bancroft. Sometimes Gilded Arrow into Hasten Ring recently. Uh, but this time we're going to go Demonic because... Loki is a melee god, and I can guarantee I can get a bunch of auto attacks off. And I think that's going to be a little bit higher DPS. I'm not going to lie, Hazer Ring would be decent against Loki if we decide to go for that. But yeah, just going to guarantee a good game with Ymir, hopefully. Uh, hopefully I'm not doing this too late where matchmaking uh, has issues. That's okay. I don't fight Lokis too often. This matchup used to be huge in Ymir's favor uh, back with Loki's old kit, but now I don't really know. I don't fight Lokis very often. He's not a very popular dual god. Um, I think Ymir still takes it, but okay, gotta be careful. Used to be upgraded shell was really good in this matchup too, but then they changed that. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I lol, I missed that. That was just, uh, that was unfortunate from both of us. Um, yeah, it seemed like, uh, seemed like he was trying to do some damage to me, but I mean, the Amir have one of the highest, highest, uh, health pools in the game, you know? So, no, that's not gonna, gonna, that's not gonna happen, Loki. And unfortunately, if matchmaking's having issues this game too, I'm uploading it anyways. Because, man, I've already tried to record so many games. I need to get one out. One way or another. He's going Warding Sigil. This one actually can be upgraded into a relic that gives a ton of defense. I don't see it often, but it could lead into a weird build. Keep in mind that his everything is down right now in terms of relics. Oh, we both died. I thought I could kill him before he would get me. That's okay. That's worth it. I can buy my tier 3 item. Like, exactly. I'm happy with that. Now we've got Demonic. Even if they don't have protections yet, Demonic. There's a lot of DPS with this particular build. Uh, because, again, Numeric Auto Attack Damage does a huge amount. Um, like, I guess if he didn't go defense, that would be weird, but... Pretty much everyone goes defensive duel. Bancroft's is just as good, though. Can't wait until they buff Gilded Arrow. When they buff Gilded Arrow, I will get a game out with Jormungandr. And, of course, Ymir. Pretty much any god that builds, I build Gilded Arrow on. Sorry, Loki, buddy. It's not gonna not gonna work like that. Look at all that gold I'm earning from Guild Zero. Extra 14 gold there. All right, go Breastplate of Valor. Breastplate of Valor gives us cooldowns. Cooldowns are nice. Uh, we are not going a mid guardian because Loki's not really an auto attack god. He does auto attack cancels, but the cooldown and having the freeze up is a lot more helpful for us in this particular matchup. Okay, that's his speeds. Wait for it to run out. Funnel him in with the two. And he has to ult out, which is pretty much a death sentence for him next time I see him. Uh, we'll be able to kill him with our ultimate or whatever, because he won't be able to get out of it. I thought I would ask you guys for your opinion. If I am in a matchup 
where matchmaking might have made a mistake or whatever, would you prefer me to essentially skip a day of uploading? Or just to upload it anyways? Or maybe like do two games in a row? Because I definitely try to get multiple games. But I mean... Sometimes it's like... Not fair. <laughs> Sometimes it's not fair. Um... Because I am in Diamond, but sometimes matchmaking puts me against someone like when it's their first time playing Duel. It feels really unfair. And I try to record multiple games, but I can't. It doesn't always work. Um, I don't always get someone at my level. And the opposite is true sometimes, but I mean, at least those are somewhat interesting. Uh, if, I'm, uh, if I'm against a highly recognizable GM or something. Looks like he is getting his defense now. After all, we've already got Demonic, which is good. Again, if he goes defense or not, it's good for me either way. And we can finish our Breastplate of Valor, which gives us a nice... I wouldn't say power spike. That's usually when you finish a tier 3 item. More just like fighting bonus. We've got max defense item, 20% CDR. That's just really good. Yeah, but l let me know. Let me know your thoughts on that. Because I'm happy to combine like multiple games into one video or something. Uh, but I also can't spend three hours uh, where every single game is unfortunately not the one. I do want to be uploading regularly. It also reminds me that a lot of people have been coming from YouTube to my stream lately because I stream pretty regularly. They're like, hey, it's your first time, first time in stream. And it's been really nice. Thank you guys for that. It's been really cool. I've met a lot of people recently that have been coming from the YouTubes. So it's always, always cool to see. Because then I get to actually, like, I don't know, interact with you. <laughs> Rather than it just being through the comments. I would stream on YouTube, but uh, as a Twitch partner, I cannot. I am... Not allowed to. Oh, that was... That should not have hit. That's hilarious. I've had so many freezes where they should have hit. And that one should not have. If you back good, sir, you're going to lose a lot of this phoenix. Like, a lot of it. Okay. Fall off the minions. Set it up for my two. Kill the minions for the extra attack speed. Oh, well, we might be a little bit in trouble. Okay, all right, we're good. I'm just gonna back away slowly. He did get Talisman of Energy. Talisman of Energy is a good item. Give some movement speed. Um, yeah, well, we'll be okay though. We don't really have life steal though. So if he comes this way, we might be a little bit in trouble, but I don't think he will. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, cool. Always placing those wards really does help make uh, decisions on whether I'm safe to back or not. Okay, I'm going to sell this. And I think I want to go a Spear of the Mages. I've been building that a lot on Ymir recently. It's like kind of good. Kind of good. Uh, we're also going to go maybe a Sprint. Maybe a Sprint just to chase him. Upgrade his Sprint. Uh, but yeah, I've been going uh, Spear of the Mages because it gives life steal. You know, you apply it with the Freeze. And then you do a bunch of extra damage. He's going double defense, so we need to start thinking about if we need... Well, I mean, that, we're already doing that. We're already getting more pens, so perfect. No matter what <laughs> what you build, Loki, I'm one step ahead. Oh, you got out of range of that. That little thing I did with the wall, if you're chasing someone and they're up against a wall, you can put the wall on the edge, and they'll almost always walk the... Like, they'll walk to the right to get out. And then you just throw your two out in that path. And you'll hit them with that. Super useful. Ah, messed up the wall there. It's okay. We can kill him if he tries anything. And now we have red buff with a bunch of minions. This is good for us. Well, the minions, same thing as last time. And there it is. Okay, so since this was a short one, I'll combine it into two games. But, yeah. Two games, always good. <laughs> Alright, let's jump into the next one.
Here are also the stats if anybody wants them. And here we are again. This time I'm using Titan Forge Ymir. I've got so many Ymir skins, man. I could use every single Ymir skin I have, even though I don't own like five of them. And by the time I'm done with using every single Ymir skin, I can just go and circle back. And no one would even notice. <laughs> I really gotta stop making Ymir skins. I stopped buying them a long time ago because there's just so many. And ooh, this matchup is dicey. This matchup is dicey, dicey. Uh... Ooh, I think I am going to go ring start. All right. This matchup is actually pretty difficult uh, considering that Kokokin has, you know, a big slow, lots of damage, and he's a kiting god. However, Ymir can go wing blade with like an auto attack hybrid build and stick to Kokokin. Also, I'm pretty sure I just saw him at my buff. Yeah. You're at my, you're, you're at my buff, good sir. What are you doing? Get out of here. Shoot. Scram. Beat it. Did I just miss that? Wait. <laughs> oh, I killed him with the the two auto blink. That's so that's so rare to do without your bird passive. I dropped the kill, but or I didn't drop the kill. I dropped the play at red, but I didn't drop the kill. Let the record show. You know, and now that you started out my red buff, I'm going to take your red buff too. Just for the hell of it. Just because I can. No other reason. Also, why did he not have items? I just realized, yeah, I, I he doesn't have relic or items or anything. Nothing. Okay, you have items now. Okay. Um. Yep. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what to do. This... <laughs> okay. All right. Maybe I just. I, I just got a cue earlier. I'll try. I'll, what I'll try doing is maybe I'll try recording because when I stream the matches are pretty good. Um. Well, we're actually lagging a bit. I think what I'll do is I'll start recording my matches before I go live. And then I'll upload them the next day. I think that's what I'll do. Because if I record them in the middle of the day, then the matches are a little bit better. You know what I mean? By the way, I'm, I'm committed to this. I'm committed to this double upload one way or another because I haven't uploaded in two days. Also, we're still rubber banding like crazy, man. We're rubber banding like crazy, crazy. Even though my ping says I'm at 100. I love this game. I actually used to use it a ton. I do have to be careful. He's about to hit level 5. Alright, let's recall. Alright, I actually want to go Hasten Ring. I want to stick to him like... I don't even know the phrase. Like like what? Like sweat in the summer. That's the phrase I'm going with. Yep, out of all of them I could have chose. Uh, because with Hasten Ring, I, if I just auto him, he can't really get away. Combined with the fact that I am going Wing Blade, no matter what. No matter what he builds, I'll build a Wing Blade. So, that should be pretty helpful. Uh, we'll take our, our, my blue buff after, after this wave. Although, I think I might be able to kill him. Unless he just recalls. Okay. Now they're going to miss that entire... Wave of XP and gold. That's not always good in duel. You miss out on a lot. We've got Book of Thoth, one of the best items on Kukulkin. I actually really enjoy playing Kukulkin. I might play a game with Kukulkin on YouTube pretty soon. That should be a kill. Okay. Hmm.
You know what I think I'll do at one point? I think I'll do a video that it's like playing Ymir until I lose. And I'm assuming the first match isn't terrible. Should be pretty good. That'd be an interesting video. I think I, I, think I will do that at some point. Alright, we can wall him off and he will die. Bonk. Wait, are you still alive? There we go. Ow, it took an extra shot. Alright, I'm getting on out of here. We are getting Hasten Ring. And next item, I'm getting Wing Blade. Because Ymir's weakness in matchups like this are, you know, the enemy's movement speed, the enemy's mobility. And just being able to stick to them once you actually get near them. Like, once you blink, you want to be able to stay right next to them. Even if they use beads. And Haste Ring does just that. Wing Blade does just that. However, we are sacrificing a lot of damage for this build. Our damage is a lot lower than it usually is. But that's okay. It's alright. We have to dodge the alt or just alt. I realized we were not going to dodge the alt, so then I just ulted with CC Mindy. Otherwise, they would have possibly gotten away. Man, we are teleporting like crazy. I don't know what's going on. It's not really affecting the game. This is so weird. It's so strange when that happens because, like, when I'm hitting things, everything's fine. But just walking is sometimes problematic. It's strange. Alright, just walk out of that. We have so much move movement speed that if he starts tornadoing at any point, as long as I'm not slowed, I can just walk out of it. Like, even if he tries to predict me, I can just switch directions. So that's pretty good. Hasten ring, hasten ring, hasten ring. Good stuff. I don't even have a wing blade finished actually. All right, let's recall, and we're gonna finish our item. Again, we are sacrificing a good amount of power, so we want to get that back. We want to get that power from you know what, a Bancroft or a Spear of the Mages. I'm happy with either. Um, and then relic wise, we're gonna save our relic. Because we might need a sprint if he does go Gem Viso. Uh, we might need an Aegis if he goes like a crazy, super, super high power build. Or we might want a Thorns. And right now, quite frankly, I don't think getting our second Relic would get us that many more kills than if we save it for countering Oh, did hit us with a 3 after all. Put it does no damage i actually just heal with one potion the amount of damage his three does and i don't even have a big defense on it we are very far ahead right now in fact can i just walk up and kill you oh maybe not with the lag no i'm gonna die man i would have i would have gotten out without dying if uh if we didn't get that little lag spike that's okay i would have just killed with the, the hasten ring that's okay uh oh you know what actually cancel this item karen's coin would be really good in the late game <laughs> right now uh you know what triple feature triple feature third game third humor game I'm, I'm, dest I'm destined to get a closer humor game today one more yeah, it was apparently the person's first game of duel, so you can't really blame them for what happened. But, uh, uh, yeah, I can't really control matchmaking, but I'm still going to do one more. And then they reported me, so never mind. All right, here we go against a Baba Yaga 
with a platinum bur uh, platinum border, but they are for some reason hiding their Baba Yaga worshippers. I have no clue why, but I know they are because they have a plat border, which means they've played Baba Yaga at least 10 times. Uh, and I just don't see why you would play Baba Yaga at least 10 times while also being under 100 worshippers. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm thinking too much about it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyways, we're, we're doing the same thing, except this time I'm going Bancroft because Baba Yaga is not a god I can auto attack very often. And quite frankly, she's not a god that I can stick to the same that I can a Kokokan or Loki. So we're going to go a little bit more of a standard build. Although I will say our freeze against her, her escape's pretty good, but not amazing. Because if she knows the trick where you basically run at Ymir to dodge his freeze, uh, because it's hardest to hit Ymir's freeze when they're right next to you, because it's a cone, then she can pretty much get away with her escape almost every time. Like, if she just uses her three towards me, and she's right next to me. Like, that'll work really well for her. Ow, that does a ton of damage. I'm gonna focus her for a little bit of extra damage. There we go! So, I kind of made the- I made a decision where I was focusing the wave uh, before her, and we actually cleared a little bit faster than her because of that, and just Got a lot of damage from the archers, and of course, her escape was already down, so she didn't really have anywhere to go. That's good for us. Um, okay. Looks like she's going Vampiric Shroud into a Bancroft, so I can only assume she's going to go Typhons as well, most likely. And either way, no matter what she's building, she's going a lot of healing, so we're going to need to think about a Divine Ruin. I don't think Toxic Blade is amazing in this matchup, but yeah, Divine Ruin sounds good. I don't know if that was her two or if she was doing a, uh, taunts and stuff, but oh well. I'm recalling. Unless she uses her escape, then I'm tempted to stay. damage I get on her. Enough? Nope, not enough. That's pretty good. If she ults my ult, she can get a ton of free damage on me. I didn't think about that. Because I'm obviously standing still in my ultimate. And I'm kind of slow. Hmm, that's kind of, that's a little problematic. It won't be a problem now, but later on, I mean, Baba Yaga ult hits hard if you stay in it. So we might actually need a little bit of movement speed. Wingblade, not a terrible idea because her two does slow, but only sometimes. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We just got to think about it. A sprint could be good. A thorns could be amazing. Um, yeah, just, just, we've got a lot of options. I'm probably going to go Pestilence Divine Ruin, though, just based on her build. And just kind of play around with my blink, I think. You know, I forget that that her her two actually lowers my attack speed, which is really bad for me. If she gets green potions, Baba Yaga's kit is super strange. Um, for her her potion ability, she brews a potion with random ingredients, and the green ingredient lowers my attack speed. The red one gives damage. Blue one slows. I think that's all the ingredients. I like playing Baba Yaga myself. She's a cool guy. Okay, that's her. Oh, I might be dead. Just because I did take that damage. Yeah, no, I'm dead. Ah, unfortunate. Yeah, this is going to be problematic because it, I don't know if you guys noticed, but she's in her tower a lot. And I am kind of can't do too much about it. Um, like, I can blink on her, but then she can just ult her. Like, I can wall her off, but then she just ults as well. And then, I, I mean, we saw how that went. I just kind of die. So this is actually kind of tough. I don't know this match very well. Because, quite frankly, not a lot of people play Baba Yaga. 
but I don't think it's too good for Ymir. Hmm. Definitely want Divine Ruin next item or Pestilence. There's a Typhon's Fang. I don't know if she's going to go Bancroft's on top of that, but this already gives her a lot of power and healing. No, we're teleporting again. Right now, we're still ahead in gold. XP is pretty tied up. I want to see if I can steal her red buff specifically. I was, I was, I saw it drop, the animation drop, but she wasn't even there. That's the thing in Smite. I don't know why, but just like loading like the area near a buff, you'll see the drop animation, even if they're not even there. It's actually super frustrating. Man, we are teleporting a lot. That's okay. As long as I'm not teleporting when we're in a fight, that's all I care about. It's unfortunate because I actually have the best internet that I can pay for in my area, but it still has issues. And yeah, it's frustrating because there's nothing I can do about it. But oh well. What are you building? Genji's? Okay, Genji's makes sense. Okay, that was weird. Falling her off is kind of good. She can't kill me. Alright, now we back off. Got her ult for pretty much free. Pestilence is the way to go. Again, someone going a ton of healing. I don't have a plan late game. I think late game she's going to take this. Um, I don't really know what to build for late game. That would be like extremely helpful for us. Like, There's obvious answers like Rod of Duty, but that's not going to change things too much. It's going to go the same. Relic Dagger could be interesting because if I have my blink up a lot, then I have a lot more opportunities to catch her off guard where either her ultimate's down or her beads are down. And if that happens, I can kill her. So that's not a, you know, terrible idea. Unfortunately, that three does go over walls if I'm not next to her to, you know, freeze her out of it. Let's try to steal her speed buff. Anything that can get us ahead right now, we should be doing. Oh wait, no, she's already taken it. Never mind. I'm gonna try waiting behind this wall. Trying to catch her out here. Okay, that's you know most of her ability. I'm actually gonna fight her because she is not in her tower. She is only taking 99 damage from my autos. Which is not a lot at all. I'm taking so much more damage. Oh, okay. Okay. This is a toughie. Hmm. However, her ability is down now. Her beads are down. I don't want to blink with her escape up, right? Like, that doesn't sound like a good idea. Good amount of damage. Good amount of damage. Um, a blink alt here would not be terrible, but I would like to save for my three. Ah, oh, these stupid minions, they hit me. And now I can't blink. And now her escapes up again. Yeah, no. That would have went so much better had that archer not shot me. And now we're back to square one where I can't kill her. Um, because I don't have anything up. Oh well. Oh, she's hitting my tower without any minions. Alright, let's get Divine. I'm gonna save my Relic. Oh wait, no, she's already got second Relic. She has Shell. Uh, Shell Beads. I think she used both, actually. Uh, last time I just wasn't paying attention. Um, but yeah. Hmm. We could go Horrific. I think horrific is the answer because then she would have to save her ultimate for whenever I horrific. Otherwise, I can just chase her down. 
And I mean, I don't like getting horrific too often, but it's the whole reason you save your relic and duel. You save your relic so your can't your opponent can't get horrific uh, without you getting sprint, right? And they didn't save their relic, so I'm I'm gonna go horrific. I think it's what we need. I think it is the answer. Got our ultimate. We're basically free. Well, not free. I'm gonna take a huge amount of damage. And as you mirror, I have a whole hard time getting out of those abilities. Later on, like, yeah, that might only do half our health now. But later on in the game, that's going to do so much damage. Especially if that is a Spear of the Mages. I don't want to actually try to take this. But I do no damage. Wall. Did hit her, but she's. I'm so slow. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord, this is difficult. And she got another slowing one. Ah, I'm thinking Wing Blade, but Wing Blade. The thing about Wing Blade is we sacrifice so much damage, especially when I already have a defense item. Oh wait, that red buff's still up too, by the way. We sacrifice so much damage with Wing Blade, and I already have Pestilence that. I don't know if it'll be worth it. And we need Pestilence because, again, Vampiric Shroud, Typhon's Fang, especially for the late game. Hmm. Alright, well, buying this Divine Rune will give us a lot of uh, damage for the late game. Or a mid game, I guess. Right now. I'm gonna go Horrific. And I'm gonna build into a Spear of the Mages. And hope that gives us some more damage. Late game Diamond Arrow will give us a ton of attack speed. So that will give us a huge amount of DPS as well. Um, I, th I think we're doing good. I think we're doing good. She got Divine Rune too. Although I don't have nearly as much healing as she does. Um, it does hit me. Wow, that was, uh, that was a silence, and I got my freeze. You'll also notice that she's not using her escape until after I use my freeze. So maybe if I can hit my two without my freeze, I can get a bunch of free damage off of that. But again, she's just so tanky right now. I'm thinking we can get a demonic after all. I'm getting a lot more autos than I thought I would be able to at the beginning of this game. Holy moly, this is tough to fight into. Okay. It's like, I feel like I won that engagement, but here I am at lower health, and she's in her, pretty much her, you know, her tower. That was a terrible blink. That was an awful blink. Man, and she's not even going to miss any of the minions. I think if she stays, this will be good for me. I'm trying. If she backs, I get red buff. That's the advantage here. I also have my horrific. Um, although, you know, I can't chase her into her tower. I need to dodge her ability so she doesn't kill me. Okay. I believe I missed that. That was my that was my chance. But even if I miss that, it's good for me because I can go for this. Although she is chasing. Uh oh, I can heal off of this, but this is not good. Yeah, I'm healing. What you have that already? How? Oh my goodness, she got that so fast. Oh, I missed my freeze. Even if I hit it. Oh man, dude, this is a tough matchup. This is a tough matchup. I'm getting demonic. I'm getting demonic, and I want it so that when she alts, we don't run away. We just straight up fight her in it. I think that's our goal. 
Her ult is so much better than mine in this matchup. And I, of course, couldn't use Horrific there because, uh, you know, she she ulted, so she's slow immune. I think if I hit my freeze there, I was just kind of panicked because there was just so little time. If I hit my freeze and Horrific, I think I could have gotten away. It's a battle of me trying to get a build where I have enough damage to actually kill her, but also enough uh, mobility so that she can't just, you know, run at me or run away with her slows and stuff. So it's, it's definitely a battle. I mean, most of the time I can't kill her because she's near her tower. So whenever I get this tower, the better. We're at level 20 already. Holy moly, this game has gone by fast. We're at level 20. Are you going to ult again? Quite. Oh, there it is. Holy moly, dude. Genuinely don't know what I'm supposed to do against this much. I can't use my two. There we go. She is slowed. But she's near her tower again, and I can't get her. I'm, I think when that, when the tower's gone, we will have the opportunity for a lot better fights. I'm not even gonna blink because I know I can't kill her. I know I can't kill her. Just trying to block off the minions a bit there, delay her back as much as possible. Oh, this is a this is a tough match. Could get Toxic Blade. I mean, her entire build is healing based. And right now I have 65% anti heal. If I got Toxic Blade, she wouldn't heal at all. And she has one, two, three lifesteal items. But I need Pen. Let's get this for now. This will give us more damage. Diamond Arrow gives a huge amount of damage. But again, Toxic Blade, I don't I won't have that much power. Ah. I'm not doing enough damage. Decisions, decisions. I still think, part of me still thinks Demonic is better. Oh, he jumped over that. Yo, can you stop ulting me for all my health? We do want to get really far behind this so she can't stop my back. Uh, screw it, Demonic. Anti-heal doesn't really help us too much if we can't even deal damage. She is on my side of the map right now. I doubt I can catch up to her. Uh, once again, chase her across the map, straight into the tower. And now I can't kill her because she is hidden safely. And we're at the point where if she ults, I just die. I just melt. And she knows it. That's why she's chasing me. Because she wants to she wants to get my uh, all my health. And now she heals all to full health again. I can't stop her. Uh, I'm tired of this back and forth chasing her across the map. Oh, there it is. I'm already half health, man. This is crazy. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And now she's all the way over here. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. This is very annoying. This is extraordinarily annoying. I don't have an answer for that playstyle. Hey, at least the matchup's closer, right? I'm going to start switching out items in my build. 
I don't think Bancroft is helping us that much now. Um, well, I mean, that's pretty much my only source of damage in my build right now. Toxic Blade won't give us enough mobility to quite overcome her either. It would help. Okay. We caught her in her escape. That's really good. But she uses beads and gets away. Okay. Dodge it. Even there, when I'm at 1 HP, she doesn't actually chase me. That blows my mind. I'm dead. I had to try for it. I had to try for it. GG's. Man, I don't know. I have two really good matches. And then with that one, I honestly don't know what I could have gone to beat that. But sometimes that's how it is. Uh, GG well played. I think I just needed to push the early game more. Uh, but yeah, good game overall. The reason I had to go for that blink there is because her everything was down, and that was my only opportunity. If I backed off, she got Phoenix, and once she got Phoenix, uh, it would have been game over. So GG's.